So June is Pride Month and if you didn't know that yet, hi, welcome to the real world. I hope your stay in captivity was nice. And this month I am making Pride based content both here and on my podcast. This is an indication that you should go listen to my podcast that came out earlier today. We talk about how, as a species, we've all always been gay. Uh, link is in the description, check it out. This month, I've got a really cool design that I want to share with you over on Redbubble. And 100% of my proceeds, my profits, go entirely to an LGBT-based charity here in India. I did stream the entire creation process for this design over on my Twitch and today I am sharing with you a sped up time lapse version of me creating this month's t-shirt design. This is an indication that you should go follow me on Twitch. I go live once a week, every week and it is loads of fun and we can chat in real time. Link is in the description, check it out. <laughs> so here is a time lapse of my brand new t-shirt design for charity called Don't Hate Create. Let's do it. Okay, so let me just start off by saying that although this design is specifically made for Pride Month, I didn't want to do just a regular rainbow. I feel like that's been done and overdone and there are a thousand other t-shirts you could buy with rainbows on them. I want you guys instead to have something unique with a message and more specifically, something that won't look out of place all year round. The LGBT community has sadly been plagued with hate crimes for way too long and I thought this message would be rather fitting for this t-shirt. Now the way this works is that when you follow the link in the description box and grab your t-shirt, mug or print or even just a sticker, although Redbubble and PayPal do take their share of the earnings as they should, whatever I personally receive as my artist commission I will be donating 100% of it to charity. The charity that I'll be donating to is the Nas Foundation Trust based in New Delhi. This is not affiliated with them in any way, they don't know this is happening and they did not ask me to publicize them. I literally googled LGBT charities in India and found them as one of the highest rated charities here. NAS has many amazing causes they work towards, including education, support around HIV awareness, advocating for minorities and the LGBT community, and a constant contribution towards equality awareness. Here's a quick screen grab from their website about all the awesome things they do. Most of you might not know this, but the LGBT community here in India has been through a lot. Gay rights were completely illegal for the longest time, until 1861 when a lot of India was under Mughal rule, which is like the Middle Eastern kings, the punishments ranged from 50 lashes all the way to being stoned to death just for being gay. After 1864, the law was changed to section 377. Thanks to the British invasion of India, this made any quote unnatural act of sex criminal and punishable by up to a life sentence. In the July of 2009, however, the Delhi High Court said that parts of section 377 that relate to gay sex were entirely unconstitutional and voted to decriminalize them. Here's a direct quote from one of the judges. We declare section 377 of the Indian Penal Code in so far as it criminalizes consensual sexual acts of adults in private is violative of articles 21, 14 and 15 of the Constitution. 
The articles mentioned refer to personal liberty and the right to privacy. This was a massive victory for the gay community in India. However, in a 2013 case that actually involved the Nas Foundation, the Supreme Court of India had a two-judge verdict that pretty much overturned the Delhi High Court's ruling. The Nas Foundation lost because the judges said that Section 377 is for the Parliament to debate, not for the courts to judge. Basically, Section 377 was once again enforced, recriminalizing consensual gay sex that hurt nobody because two people refused to take responsibility for ruling over a complicated case, in my opinion. The central government then filed a petition to get the Supreme Court to overturn the judgment, citing that Section 377 law was archaic and not even Indian law to begin with, it was British. Remember how the court said that the government should decide whether or not to apply Section 377? Well, guess what? They did through this petition. The Supreme Court rejected the government's petition and still upheld 377. Homophobia was rife in the judiciary system. However, the Supreme Court faced massive backlash over this, not just from the gay community, but from allies of the community, which included some huge names in Bollywood and politics. It took three whole years, but finally, in 2016, the Supreme Court looked at these petitions again and decided to reconvene. And ultimately, in 2017, which is only two years ago, remember, Section 377 pertaining to homosexuality was finally scrapped for good. The Supreme Court repealed its own decision from 2013 and actually said that according to the Indian Penal Code, it would actually be a crime to arrest people for consensual sex between adults. It was a violation of their right to privacy and freedom of expression. And in the center of all of this, is the tireless work of the Nas Foundation. And this is precisely why I will be donating all of my proceeds to this foundation this month. So again, click the first link in the description and let's support a good cause together. Plus, you get a cool one-of-a-kind design on a t-shirt, a mug, or just a print, so that's cool too. I will be donating all of my earnings from this t-shirt on the 30th of June, just so it's all in one go. This design will no longer be available after the end of this month. So if you want to be part of this campaign, please, please make sure you grab yours now. It's a great cause. The foundation is doing amazing work and I genuinely believe in that. And I believe that their support will absolutely go towards something wonderful for the Indian LGBT community. We only got our freedom two years ago. So clearly there is a ton of work still to be done. Please also take a second to share this video so we can maximize the amount of money that we donate. And if you'd like to support me as the artist, all I ask is for you to hit that subscribe button down below and leave this video a big thumbs up just so we can get more eyeballs on this campaign. that's our video for this week before you go i just want to remind you one more time that when you buy this t-shirt design or this design on anything else all through june i will be giving all of my profits to a charity that works towards hiv and sexual education here in india specifically for the lgbt community i thought that would be a fun way to do pride month here on my channel and i hope you guys will participate in it with me thanks so much for watching today if you have enjoyed this video and this entire idea about 
pride and this design and stuff, please remember to leave me a big thumbs up and a comment below telling me if you'd like to see more designs for Pride Month. Um, if you haven't already, please take a second to hit that subscribe button down below. It really, really helps me out so, so much. And uh, follow me on all social media for more daily updates on everything. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. You know I love spending time with you, and I will see you again next week. Bye.